I hate the infinite today. And they just released the new Big Team Battle Unlimited playlist. Also coming with it, this Scar map, which is actually pretty cool. It's not built for um, air vehicles, unfortunately, because there's apparently there's a few invisible walls. But if you like the infantry gameplay, it runs pretty nice. Which I personally enjoy more than vehicle gameplay is infantry gameplay. Because um, vehicles can sometimes get a bit annoying. Especially when um, you're on foot. You also start with the bandit rifle and the AR. Which, after getting used to it, the bandit rifle feels pretty smooth in this game now. And uh, other than that, this game mode is pretty cool. I like it. I'm not sure what your guys are thoughts on the game mode personally, but for me, it's been a pretty good solid playlist update. I'm also curious what they're going to do for Season 5, because apparently they're going to add some firefight in Season 5 as well. Which is, okay I guess, I know firefight is needed, but eh, I ain't a big thing for firefight, I'm not really that huge on it. I used to be on Halo Reach when um, it would level you up and stuff, but at the minute, Firefight is not something I really care about. What I am looking forward to is the Battle Royale mode. If they release the Battle Royale mode in Halo Infinite in 2024, like they said they will, I'm curious about that because I think that will be unique to Halo. If they ever release it in 2024, I think that would be pretty cool. I'm just hoping they don't focus too much on the battle royale and leave the multiplayer mode behind, you know what I mean? Like, I'm hoping they don't do that. I hope they actually focus on both of them equally and not just hard focus the battle royale. Because otherwise that would be pointless and it would kill the game even more than it already has been. They need the battle royale to um, not take over multiplayer. Which is the only bad thing about it. If they do let it take over the multiplayer, then it was just kill the multiplayer version of the game, which we don't need it to do because it's already struggling as it is. If they kill it off because they focus on the battle royale, then they just kill it, kill the whole game again. Like they've already got it to a stage where it's actually getting good. They don't need the battle royale to kill it anymore, you know. If they did that, then a lot of people would not be happy. So, I don't know. There's a few concerns I have for Season 5. But beyond that, Season 4 has been pretty solid. This new playlist is really good. If you guys want to hop on it, it's out now. It's got B2B Unlimited. Pretty fun to play. It's got a variety of different game modes on it. Stuff like that. Right, right now I'm playing Total Control, capture all three zones and you score a point. It's not bad. I'm enjoying it so far. Ooh! Nice little triple. Oh my days, I just had a kill. Oh! I just pulled a mint blitz. What was that? And yeah, as you can tell, I've been watching a lot of mint blitz videos because not gonna lie, his gameplay is insane. Whenever I see his clips, I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, yeah. I like, him watching his videos has made me want to play Halo more often. Because I do miss playing Halo full time, but Halo's just not been the same for me ever since Infinite came out. It's not been the same. It's getting better though. I would give it that. I just wish it had the same launch as the other Halos, where it was fully complete and stuff like that, and it had everything we wanted. You know what I mean? But yeah, this has been Ghost Guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.